It is expected to be an emotional day in New Caney. Students will return to class today with heavy hearts following the death of a fellow student. Joshua Givens was hit and killed while he was walking home along McCleskey Road. And over the weekend, cops made an arrest in the case. To tell us more is Channel 2's Vincent Crivelli, who's live at New Caney High School where Givens was a student. Vincent? Oh, and Sophia, this morning we're learning more about the man accused of killing the New Caney High School student. We've uncovered where they're from and when they were arrested. In a town of 20,000, news spreads fast, and so does heartbreak. To see a young man that I've seen grow up gone, it hurts. Football coach Tony Robles came out to see where 17-year-old Joshua Givens, a New Caney High School junior, died in a hit and run early Sunday morning. I still can't believe that I'm going to see this young man in a casket. DPS arrested this man, 23-year-old Logan Foster, for failure to stop and render aid causing death. The second-degree felony carries a 2- to 20-year prison sentence. The arrest report shows Foster was booked at 740 last night, and he's from Arkansas. We are glad that we got the suspect. Hopefully there's a little closure for the family. I mean, I, they're devastated. I mean, your 17-year-old child's... Um, no longer with him. Investigators say Gibbons was walking home from a quinceanera when they believe Foster hit him and drove off, leaving the teenager to die. The 17-year-old's body was later found in a ditch along McCleskey Road. My heart sank. I couldn't talk. His friends, family, and teammates say he was the light in their lives and he will live on in their hearts. It's just so apparent how many people were touched by his life and just love him so much. And today is the first day back for his classmates here at New Caney High School. And right now I'm working to find out what clues led investigators to arresting Logan, who is currently in jail on a $100,000 bond. Look for those details coming up at 11. For now, reporting live from New Caney High School, Vincent Prevelli, KPRC, Channel 2 News.